Hello, my loves, and welcome back. My name is Jess. If we're meeting for the first time, I've been channeling messages almost all of my life, but recently the downloads within the last month have been constant, layered, and very, very intense. There were two messages that I've already put up that took a lot for me to even share them because it's not my vibe, it's not my energy, but it was in the back of my mind, like I couldn't even let it go. This message today is gonna feel way more supportive. It is a message that is for everyone, not just the in intuitive and the gifted. However, as I sat with it and all of the layers were kind of coming through and being pieced together while I was sitting in my meditation, Spirit, the divine, was making it very clearly known that this specific message was directed to those who are highly gifted, very sensitive, or intuitive in some nature. And there's a layer that's to that that I didn't even get a chance to write down, but I will share it with you. So hopefully I don't forget. I do want to take a step back though and say that this message, although it was directed towards those who are intuitively gifted or highly sensitive people, spirit opened up the door and invited in everyone to receive this message because the large overarching chunk of it is something that the divine wants every single one of us to remember and receive. So feel free to take a moment to pause, to ground, to center yourself, grab tea or coffee or whatever it is that your vibe, shake a little sip of water, pause this video if you must, if you need to, it is what it is, I'm not going anywhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and set an intention for this moment, to set an intention for the message that we received to really call in for protection. Divine, I reach out to you now and I ask for protection over me, over my home and also over the viewer. I ask that you embrace them fully and give them peace, give them direction, give them clarity, give them discernment to know which part of this message needs to be applied to their situation, if at all. Protect them as they move about their day. Provide for them in all of their many needs. I give gratitude to this moment and I thank you so much for allowing me to show up again, for allowing me to be a voice, for allowing me to speak on your behalf here. And I ask for the right words, the right things to say that reflect your intention for what it is that's meant to be received by them now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm gonna start off with what I wrote down. And for those of you guys that don't know, I've been writing a lot down because there's, again, been so much that's been coming through. And then I'm gonna have to put my journal down and go back to the part that I forgot to write down because there's just layers to this and it was just coming through really fast and also not within one period of me sitting down. I had to keep going back. So Spirit says, don't be so completely hard on yourself. Do not be so completely hard on yourself. And there's an emphasis on the word completely because the divine wants you to see how you being hard on yourself, it's not just you being hard on your mental, you're being so hard, it's acknowledging how tough you are on your mind, body, soul, and your emotions, and because of that, it tests and strains your actual spirit. Spirit says, you were born with strange intuitive gifts you were born with strange intuitive gifts. You still have these gifts. Now, I can't help but to smile and laugh because I genuinely, <laughs> in all of my relationship with the divine, there's always this, as serious as the matter is, there's always this sense of humor that just always tickles me. Like, it genuinely makes me laugh. But when the word strange comes through, I'm like, how funny because it's considered strange, but it's from the divine. Like you were created with this gifts and spirit. It's, it's like, it's so funny, this overarching energy, this overarching divine energy, this God, and it will put itself in our shoes, like completely become human almost so that we can feel comfortable and just the level of grace and kindness and patience and consideration that that would take to be this overarching divine all-knowing all-loving strong presence and to 
not stoop to our level, but meet us at eye level and say, yeah, you know, these gifts are strange. It's unique. Even though it's like so magnificent, so powerful, it's, it really, it's so humbling and it's so like exhilarating at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but the divine said strange, meaning that this may be how the world sees it. This may be how something that is so like not, not known of, like it's something that we know of, but it's still something that is so unique and so dis- like we're still discovering it, we're still uncovering it, we're still exploring these gifts and how mystical it all is and how mysterious it all is and curious. So I just really see how like one word can really have a bunch. Okay, so you were born with strange intuitive gifts. You still have these gifts. Now this is the part where I started moving forward with the rest of this download, but Two days ago, because this message is not just from one day, two days ago, I had an another download that was connected to this message that says that re- was reminding us of our path and our history and how important it is to look back before while we're in this moment before we look forward. And the divine is reminding us of our ancestral history, how having these strange intuitive gifts are things that people are so quick not only in this present moment but also in the past how quick they have been to dismiss them to be like oh that's not right or that's not real or maybe go in the opposite direction to say it's evil this can't be you know we have to we have to cancel this we have to remove this we have to fight it we have to kill it That is our history of people who have strange gifts, people who are have have been born with intuition. This is not just here in America. This branches out all over the world. These these uh, of going into your history, looking into your legacy and your root, go back to your ancestors and how they have it, they have had their intu- intuition and had to lean into their intuition because everything was taken away from them and they have become strong or were able to survive and make it through un- moments or things that people should not have survived. And somehow they, it was their intuitive gifts that led them. But also know that as although their intuitive gifts were protecting them and shielding them and guiding them and leading them and inspiring them to find medicine and firing, inspiring them to find magic or to empower them or to communicate with the divine, grow closer to the divine, help heal others through the divine. It was also something that if it was discovered or shared too loudly, too loudly, whatever that means, that it would become a threat. The same thing that would protect them is the same thing that people were looking to squash, to kill, to remove, because those people, whether they wanted to believe that it was powerful or magical or not, or whether they wanted to believe, which they were leaning into the fact that it was evil, they knew that if this person was allowed to explore their gifts, share their gifts, that it would be a detriment to their, for their reason of having you around or for whatever was going on during that time. So, and everybody's ancestral history or story is going to look different, but if you lean into it, you'll understand and see how for many people here walking on earth who are highly intuitive, those gifts were hidden for a reason. And having said that, um, spirit wants to remind you of how that as as important it is that your legacy that you know that that intuitive part of your legacy and you know that you're gifted also know that it has been in your bloodline to hide those gifts or to cover them so that they weren't so pronounced so that it wouldn't make you a target so that you weren't so easily seen and that being a part of your bloodline is something that shows up and is surfacing for you even in this moment and for some reason the divine wants to bring that up. For some of you guys, this will be very, um, something that you need to hear and something that you need to remember. And do with that information what you will. If I get any more downloads as I'm talking, moving forward, um, I'll, I'll definitely share them with you. Moving forward though, um, along with these intuitive, strange gifts, you are developing wisdom. 
uh, oh, and then Spirit said, share your experiences with growing up and how much they, um, how much I was focused to, into solitude and how much I grew through Goddess Circles. And I will share them with you towards the end, I promise. Um, I, I wrote down, I'm 35, and personally, this is my experience, personally, most of my life was spent in a space of isolation and study. And even now, here I'm still learning, I'm still rebelling, I'm still honoring that wisdom. But focusing on your wisdom now, focusing on your wisdom now, this wisdom, your wisdom, comes from experience. Experience comes from lessons learned over time. Time is passing now, so be easy on yourself. Don't rush through time. Don't rush through this lesson, this current lesson that you're going through. You're, you're gaining wisdom in this moment. So even though you are highly intuitive, even though you're highly gifted, for those of you guys that that applies to, for everyone else, we're, you're living and breathing through life, give yourself a lot of grace because simultaneously, as you're going through your experiences, you are still needing to live your life. And, and that is how, by living your life full, authentic, and embracing it, you are developing your wisdom. You are gaining your, list, your wisdom. And that can only come from time through your experiences. For some of you guys, you're, as you, you look at your intuitive, you look at your intuitive gifts and you start to get hard on yourself because you don't have all of the answers. You, you listen to your intuition, but your intuition is also merged with wisdom and experiences that you must learn here on earth. So when you find yourself in situations that you're like, how could this have happened? My, my intuition failed me or I need to have an answer for this or I need to know what's going to happen next or there needs to be a, re a response for my angels and my guides. There are moments where it's important that it's not hands off but that you are allowed to choose through your wi free will what you decide to do because it's teaching you through experience and growing your wisdom. And when you have your intuition and you're beating yourself up because maybe you had an intuitive hunch but you chose a certain path or you chose a certain option or you chose to do something and there was some type of experience that was in exchange for that, whether that experience feel good or feel bad, you look at yourself or you punish yourself because as an intuitive person, how could I have not have known? And Spirit says to really try to be easy on yourself really be easy on yourself it is necessary that you take the time to develop your wisdom that is also going to be something that is passed on from your legacy whether you have children or decide not to have children or you share it with your friends your family the community people that you pass your experiences outside of what you are intuitively led are very valuable. And that's something that spirit says, do not rush through this. Take time in this moment and really start to look for the lesson in this moment because it's the gift is in the wisdom that you will gain from it. Spirit says, you're expecting yourself to be all knowing when that is not only impossible, but it will actually work to set you back. I want to say that again, you're expecting yourself to be all knowing when that is not only impossible, but striving to have all the answers and have that expectation of yourself actually sets you back. You have gifts. Yes. And every single one of us watching this video, you, if you're highly gifted or to baby gifted or highly gifted and developing that or baby gifted and stretching that. Not everybody, you could, we're, let's say we all agree that we're highly gift or we have gifts and we have our intuition. Not everybody has the same strength and intensity. And even if you practice and show up, there's only so much that your gifts will allow you to experience in this world. And even as gifted people, we could sit in a whole goddess circle or a whole ring, a whole healing ring and know that this person over here is very was born with insane gifts, wild gifts that I could never 
maybe this is a thought that you think that even if I spent my whole life studying, I would never get 12% to where they are at born naturally. So there's this strong need that spirit says that everyone is seen equal in the eyes of the divine, but not everybody is equal in their gifts. And it's not that's not a good or a bad thing. It just is what it is. It's like someone who's naturally good at math, that's their developments, versus someone who fails at math, but they're psychically wild what they can see. So Spirit wants to say that, yes, you have gifts, some at different levels and strengths in their gifts, but still, you must approach this humble and open to how the divine will lead you. You are learning Oh, you are learning now to follow instructions and how to respond to the orders from the divine. So, yeah. Then the divine brought up um, referencing those with advanced gifts, the ability to truly see, to truly hear, and pull or receive information at any time throughout the day. We are a, a small few. We come far and few between, but it comes with a huge sacrifice that those who are highly psychically gifted or oracles or prof, pro, um, uh, prophetic messengers from the divine, from God, whatever you want to call it, they before they even enter this earth, before we entered this earth, there was a huge sacrifice that we had agreed to take before we got here, before we were born. So that's to say that someone needs to understand here or a lot of people need to understand or even the person who is a, a prophecy and oracle and can pull these messages at any point at any time, hear the voice of God at any moment, that in our society right now, we're coming from a place where those same gifts were things that would be a threat to our survival. They were a threat to our ancestors, but now we're in a place where it's exalted or everybody wants to be in that space, in that position. And I love that. But at the same time, the divine is saying that not everybody is born with these equal strengths of gifts or, and that is what it is, but also know that this need to glorify the oracle, the prof, the um, prophetess, I'm going to say, <laughs> or the person who is a seer, the person who can hear and access this information at any point or whatever level you're at, that sometimes our society glorifies them not realizing that as wonderful as it is and as wonderful as it may seem there it comes I don't want to say at with a cost but there was an agreement made before that person's soul sh chose the body the vessel and entered this earth those sacrifices for those specific people are going to look very different I know what my sacrifice was, and for some of you guys who lean into more Christian practice and Christian beliefs, because we're open here, or I'm open here, sometimes when you hear sacrifice, I just really want to caution you not to lean into be like, oh, this is something demonic or evil. That's not it. For That's not, please, like, just let that mindset go. Try to open up here a little bit um, with how the divine is literally how it will show up in all the way not just the one way that you expect it to be. So for some, the sacrifice is maybe um, great pain that this person has to go through from the moment they were born on earth. There's great pain that strips them away of the ego from the very start so that when they move and maneuver here on earth, the ego is not the thing that trips them up. It's not the thing that battles them. As I'm saying that, I get this really strong um, feeling in the pit of my belly, in the, like my, that um, just brings up like a lot of emotion, um, which is lovely and natural. And it's just, it just goes to show again how, um, you know, what, how real, uh, those pain, that pain is from the very jump, from the moment that they enter, you know, the moment that there's entry to this earth. So instead of glorifying this, these people who are highly gifted and seeing, they can see 
or they're messengers of God or the messengers of the divine or they have these gifts or they, their, their path looks this way. Try to know and understand that there there is a huge sacrifice that comes here on earth and this is to acknowledge those too for some of you guys who are just like i have all of these gifts and you know but also i battle with my my own experiences that this life brought because i am a human being like i'm a spiritual person i'm highly gifted but i'm also human and it has cost me a lot to be here and you know so and i still remain humble don't get me started don't get me started on that so okay so if you know that this sacrifice, if you know that sacrifice, if you knew that there was a sacrifice, most wouldn't want that role so badly or even glorify it. They would take the blessing that is their life, meaning that you have your intuition, you have the, the flexibility and the space to be an imperfect human being and not have to strive for anything greatness. So you would just take, take your experience and be like, wow, like, I really love that she can do this. I love that she can channel. I love that she can do this. But it's, I also, I have access to this and that should be enough. Let that be enough. And I'm, so don't beat up on myself. I'm not going to, you would then choose, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully from this message that I'm giving to you now, you wouldn't choose to beat up on yourself and be so hard on yourself for not having all of the answers to everything, but also still trying to develop your intuitive gifts and your your vision and third eye and all of those other things while also being able to understand that to balance this life is a beautiful thing that's totally a gift you can have access to the oracle of course hopefully if you find one but at the end of the day don't don't glorify it um okay yeah work on the beautiful gifts that you were given and be thankful how nice it is again to have access to an oracle a visionary a prophetess etc etc so um for those who are not Oh, for those who are gifted, which is most of you, and also to everyone else, even if you're not gifted, please be kinder on yourself. You are gathering the wisdom from your experiences in this moment and that from the past. Don't push yourself so hard for having intuitive gifts and expecting to have all of the answers. Take breaks, be kind, Strive for a balanced, healthy life. Talk to the divine. Invite your angels and all your other resources in. Um, and know that all of that that you can call in is coming from a pure space. So that was the overarching message that your angels and your guides and the divine wanted to pass on over to you today. The intention felt like for those of you guys that are harboring resentment towards yourself for past experiences, for judgments that you've made, for mistakes that you've made through lessons that you needed to learn, you have to understand that all of that is so is contributing to the wisdom that you're leading here on earth. Having said that, wherever you are with your gifts, whether you were born naturally gifted or that it's something that you know that you have an intuition and you're developing it, or you're you're ridiculous with what you're able to channel, pull, see in your day to day. There's going to be a message for that for you guys for that later because I can share my experiences with you on that. And I will say that um, it's huge that we are kinder to ourselves, well, all of us, but also that you're maintaining boundaries. And that you also understand why you're here on earth, what you're meant to do with those gifts, how you're meant to approach them, where to go, how to show up. Those are things that we need to talk about here on this channel. And those are videos that will come. Um, in the meantime, you guys, I did have a video up about Divine Feminine. It's not coincidental, the fact that it's coming before all of these other messages, because I just really feel that if you're watching this, go back to that Divine Feminine energy video. There's a second part that's going to be coming up tomorrow, this weekend. It's Friday now. It's Saturday tomorrow. So it should be up tomorrow, but that's going to be a bit, another big part of your medicine that will be helpful to you regardless of where or who you are in this in this life but either way whether you're highly gifted baby gifted or not gifted at all or you're not even interested in developing your gifts 
either way, that's good. There's not, it's beautiful, but also be so kind and easy to yourself. And, you know, know again that the lessons here on earth that you're living through right now, try not to rush through them because the value that they hold is the wisdom that you will be passing on to others. And you won't be able to see it now, but when you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, looking back, your people are gonna see you as the wise elder that you are here to be, regardless of your intuitive gifts, regardless of your ancestral history. They will see you as a wise elder, if especially so, you have so much more to give to those around you and it's not just your family it'll be people on the bus it'll be people passing they will see you as an elder and respect you as the elder that you are because you have really taken your time through each of these moments you savored the lesson and from that because you were so open because you were so receptive your wisdom that you gained from that is like tenfold double triple so <laughs> I know that it's so hard as human beings, like it's just, it's imperfect, trust me, believe me. I am my own worst enemy at times and every time I go to the divine and even as I channel messages throughout the day, as I see things throughout the day, I can't tell you how even in the hardest message, the divine is always like, yo, grace, grace, be patient, be kind, it is okay. You don't need to put so much pressure on yourself, be easy. And that's, if that's all that the divine is asking of every single one of us, then what more should we be asking from ourselves, truthfully? So thank you guys again. This video was a lot longer than I was expecting, um, but usually that's how it is. I am still working through um, Jupiter transit readings. I'm working on orders, taking my time. Again, you guys already know, but um, also if you are local to Florida area, I'm going to kind of widen it to Florida area. Um, my mother and I have joined forces recently. My mom's an acupuncture doctor, Chinese medicine healing, shaman. She's a practicing shaman. Um, I'm probably not saying that correctly. She'll probably be the better one to explain, but you will see her around me because we're journeying our magic together. She's been she's opened up her books for acupuncture, cupping, fire cupping. Um, Chinese herbalism, medicine, treatments, Reiki healing. She's a Reiki master and healing touch. Again, this is going to be in the Florida area. And also moving forward together, her and I will be facilitating group goddess circles in the Florida area, uh, which will be absolutely amazing, probably leaning towards new and full moon. So keep your eyes open towards that. There will be, it's just time, you know, it's just time and it's so wonderful and I just am so looking forward to meeting mystical like-minded gods, goddesses, you know, souls, spirits, you guys in a one-on-one -on -one environment. That's just going to be absolutely stunning. And um, there are retreats forming into the near future in Costa Rica. I've done two already. There's the trip to Morocco that's coming up and more trips in Costa Rica because it is time and this is the way and it is good and it is right with me. So thank you guys again so much for being present with me in this moment. The gratitude is always immense. I always say that. I always say that. Thank you. And I do want to invite you to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. If not, if you're picking up this message and passing on, please be well. Take care of yourself and hopefully I'll see you again in the near future. Until then, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye.